Melissa, hate crimes being reported to Toronto police jumped more than 50% last year. Toronto police say that universal events such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the murder of George Floyd contributed to the rise. And while there's been a significant increase in anti-Asian and anti-Black incidents, the highest number of attacks are being reported by the Jewish community. It doesn't just impact an individual. Uh, that individual is being targeted because of their identity. And so it sends shockwaves across the entire community. There's been an alarming rise in hate crimes being reported to Toronto police. In 2019, there were 139 incidents. That number jumped to 210 last year. 63 hate crimes were reported by Jewish people, 43 by black people, 21 by the LGBTQ community, and 12 by members of the Chinese community. Mischief to property, assault, and criminal harassment were the most commonly reported criminal offenses, motivated by hate. The service acknowledges the number of hate crimes is probably much higher, as incidents like these often go unreported. Just this week, uh, it's come across my desk a number of incidents with people hanging signs outside of their apartment buildings or bus shelters that have been defaced with anti-Semitic messages. There's also been an increase in online hate crimes. Rabbi Chaim Strachler shares what happened at his Toronto synagogue last April. We had an open Zoom line and uh, a group of attackers came on at the same time and they interrupted a prayer service. We were praying on behalf of the world as we face the coronavirus. Hateful people started sh st shouting death to the Jews along with other slurs. Well, they posted on their video feed pornography. On the call were, were children and also Holocaust survivors and they were witness to this hateful rhetoric. The attack caused a lot of emotional distress for members of the Jewish community. The synagogue now requires worshippers to enter a passcode in order to avoid a repeat offense. The Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs says attacks that take place online need to be taken seriously. People are being becoming radicalized uh, on online platforms. And all too often, um, online hate can result in real-world violence. The president and CEO of Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center says incidents like this require teamwork. Working together, having community organizations working um, in tandem and, and uh, you know, uh, learning from each other uh, is certainly something that's key. Toronto police say due to the higher number of hate crimes being reported, they've dedicated more investigators to the hate crime unit. They're also encouraging community members to continue speaking up and to report these types of crimes.